What is up? How you guys doing? It's the Doc Wilson here, and today we are going to talk about this car right now. This, um, um, can is Karma Cho. Alright, this truck. It's a beautiful truck. I really, actually, I really like this truck. Alright. It's 4x4. It just released. Well, as, as I'm recording this, it released. I think it's a beautiful truck. So much so that I actually I ordered it. Alright, I got it. It's right here. Alright. Now, I ordered it in red, and for some reason, it come with orange, I guess, the secondary color was orange, all these fenders and stuff are orange, which I'm kind of like, eh, and about, but, um, this is how it come, this is what it looks like standard, and I think it's a pretty, pretty good looking truck, okay? Also, here's, here's, I want to show you guys one of my, if we open this puppy up, look at this engine, like, look at it. Oh my, holy crap, what, I mean, that's a, that's a big old engine, that's a horse right there, so beautiful. Also, these two lights here in the grill, they don't actually do anything. It's like, it's got a light bar on top, that lights up, the headlights light up, and these little lights here in the bumper light up, but the actual, like, little lights there in the grill, they don't light up. Now another thing that's really cool about this truck is how customizable it is. The customability. Okay. Let's look at the bumpers. Here at the front bumpers. The, look at all these front bumpers. You got front bumpers for days. Alright. You got one here just kind of like guard the headlights. You can paint it the color of it. You have the secondary color. You've got a, a bull bar. Same thing with the colors on it. Except for those little side parts that don't do that. Now, I haven't actually seen any of this. I have actually uh, waited. I've, I've had this ordered for a little bit, and I waited to uh, look at all these different ones for you, with, with you guys. I do like the stock one, but I've actually hid some stuff, and like as soon as you slam into something, those headlights are gone. So, I might actually get something with a little bit more protection. So, these, like I said, these, these here are all the front bumpers that you can get for them. My favorite, I think, are these, are the the bull bar, I guess. Kind of, I kind of like those, I think, the best on mine. So I might end up getting that one. That one just looks funny because it, like, takes out the whole front bumper. Moving on, we got the rear bumpers. Like I said, this thing, this thing is custom, custom ability. The custom ability on this thing is at the yin-yang, okay? You got these little stock light cages, which is kind of cool, I guess. To me, they should have, like, came on there, maybe. I don't know. I don't I like... I kind of like both. Chrome. You can get it in chrome. Primary, secondary color. Oh, you got a little... You got a little bar there. That bar is a little bit more beefy. Makes makes that little cage there look a little wimpy, but... Either way, I actually kind of like both of them. So, I don't know what I'll get there. Now, exhaust. You got these standard exhaust here. Which... I mean, they... They serve a purpose, I guess. You can kind of get these twin chrome set exhaust, which... I mean, to me, they're not that much different. I'll try to get the smoke out of the way so you guys can see by revving it, you know. But, uh, to me, they're not they're not that much different. And you got the stealth pipe, which I think... Oh, no. Stealth pipe is still back there. You just you just can't really see them. They're underneath there. If you look at the license plate there, you can kind of see it. We'll make it... Yeah, see? Now, here's the side pipe. That one looks kind of cool, but then, but then you got these puppies. Oh my lord, oh my lord. I'm pretty sure these, the, I'm gonna have to go with these. These are just so freaking awesome. Now, next we have the doors. You can actually change out the doors from the stock doors. You can have these two other options. Now, these two options are actually still the same as stock doors. Like, as if you shoot them or anything else like that. They work the same. I actually watched somebody else's video, and they even tried to throw, like, a sticky bomb between them, and, like, it's still stuck, even though there wasn't anything there. So, these are supposed to work just like a regular door would. Now, grills, you got the stock grill. You can remove it. Look at all these. Retro. I don't know. I'm liking this one and this one. I don't, I'm not 100% sure which one I'll go with yet, but I really like those two. You got all these options. This is kind of cool. I guess these are supposed to be. They say that they're guards. I don't know if they actually help any. Side. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, you got like side vents in the hood there. That looks pretty cool. I can't really tell. 
Oh, okay, those are actually lifted up. So you got those that are lifted, and then you got those that are just, like, like inside there. Like I said, those are kind of raised up. Both, I think, look pretty cool. You got a vent there in the back. Utility where you can get an axe and actually shovel on it. That's that's pretty dope. I kind of like that one. Just, I just wonder if you can actually grab the axe off and go all crazy medieval. Freaking... No, never mind. Now, of course, lights and neon lights, you've got all the standard stuff there. I'm trying to show everything off on this car. Now, this is something that is really cool. You can actually get uh, liveries on this. Now, these things, these, these are liveries here. The, 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 the livers on these are pretty cool. Now, this one's just like a red stripe. Um, it, it, it probably isn't the best on a red on, on the red one. I mean, you can, you can still tell it, but... I like some of these. Some of these are pretty cool. How like they're like a retro-y thing. To me, it kind of goes with the theme of it. It's pretty. I think a lot of these are pretty dope. I kind of like that one. I like that one as well. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a red stripe, but but with this being red, it kind of kind of shows it off. Now with like this one, I don't know if I can change the color, but if you could like change the color, I think that would be cool. Because then you could have, like, that star as, like, your secondary color as well with your bumpers and stuff. That would look pretty dope. The camo option, that's pretty cool looking, too. I do like that. Might have to go with something like that. The three color cam Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. As you can see, there's, like, the... You can see the secondary and the primary color is also blended in with that. That's kind of cool to where that's kind of, like, a solid. And then the redneck tuxedo... Okay, listen. Listen right here. I'm I might just have to buy this one and just drive his truck for the rest of my life. Like Lord have mercy. It is it, beautiful. I I I might be tearing up right now. Oh sweet dear Lord Oprah Winfrey and everything that's America. This is one of the most beautiful livers I've ever seen on a car. And this is just peel out of pasture. I mean, it kind of looks like it's all rusted and stuff, which is kind of cool if you're into that. But, uh, I don't know. I, to me, it just kind of missed the mark a little bit. Moving on, we got the roll cage. You got the bar, which is like standard on the trucks. You've got a chrome one. You've got a primary color. You got a secondary color. You got a second bar, which is like a higher end one on a truck. You got the chrome bar. You got the primary bar. You got the secondary bar. And you got carbon bars. I don't. Can I, I don't really know that, that okay I can kind of see it I can kind of see it the carbon fiber if you're into that that looks kind of cool I mean me the black bar and a carbon bar looks looks pretty close but you, you can tell that's carbon fiber that's pretty cool now you can go with a no roof option or the roof it just depends on you whichever you're into I think both will actually looks pretty cool I think it would have been cool if they would have added an option that it would have like Kind of like a convertible in a way. Like you could take the top off and put it on. To me that would be kind of cool. Like I've got the the Mesa. And sometimes I like taking the doors off of it. So what I do is I, I do like the remote thing. Where you open up all the doors. And like I'll tear the doors off of it. Because. Redneck ingenuity. Now we got the skirt skirts. Alright. You got the slat skirts. You got the chrome slat skirts. You got the primary slap skirts. And you got the secondary slap skirts. By George, that's a mouthful, okay? That is... That is a lot to say. I kind of like the primary ones. They're just kind of there. They serve a purpose. The These are kind of alright, but... They might just be a little much. I don't know. If they like they fold it away, like cut up, like flat to the side, that might... I, I don't know. I might actually... This might be the one I stick with the... With the stock. Because I actually... Stock ones, I think, actually might be a little... It'd be nice if we had more options. We got more options everywhere else. Moving on. Suspension. What sucks here is I'd actually like to raise this thing, not lower it by George. I tell you what, this is an off-road vehicle, not a race car. So if I could shove that sucker up, be closer to Jesus, I'd love to be. But uh, I'm kind of stuck at this level, which is all right, actually. Bed liners. Now, boys and girls, children of all ages, let's talk about this for a minute. We got your bed rack, which... I, I don't really understand the purpose of. You got your weapons rack and weapons crate. Now listen, this looks pretty cool, as do the rest of them. 
I don't really think that they serve a purpose other than just looking cool because I'm pretty sure that like you can't hop in the back of your truck and get ammo. Also, this truck, it is good to note that only four people can ride in this. You got the driver, passenger, and two people in the back seat. Nobody can actually ride in the back of the truck. So, this doesn't actually take away from people riding in the car because, by George, nobody's getting the back anyway. Besides, you don't want to be in the back. All right, I, I had a I had an uncle one time. He's in the back truck. He ended up missing. Now this is something else. Since this thing doesn't actually have windows, when you tint, you actually get a stripe at the top, and then the, just the back window will tint. So you get that stripe in the front, and then that. I mean, take it for what it is. If, if you want to tint or not, but you don't actually have windows. So um, yeah. With that being said, I'm going to edit this to uh, my abilities and come up with something that looks pretty dope, and then you guys will see the finished product, and we'll go climb some stuff, okay? Men's, women's, childrens of all ages, feast your eyes on my creation. This is what I have made with all the custom ability that is available. So now guys, to show you with it being dark outside, here are the regular headlights, and then BAM! You've got the light bar. Now, I didn't actually, these are just the regular headlights. Like, I didn't, to me, I didn't really see a big difference between the regular headlights and like the Xenon headlights or whatever, pretty much what they call LEDs or whatever. But, so I just kept those. Oh yeah, those two little lights down there come on too. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, I like, I like these pretty good. I wanted to show you what they look like in the dark before it become the daylight for this beautiful truck. Okay. Now, I know my bumper guard thing with Jigger in the front is red and my one in the back is black. But you know what? YOLO or whatever them kids are saying nowadays by George. I thought it looked good from the front to have the red one. But then, you move around here to the back and this right chair, I just... I didn't think it looked right being red. I think it blended in with the back end too much, and I just thought the black looked better. All right, I went with the matte black and then like a red. I don't I, just just a red it come in. So I don't know. I ended up changing out the wheels on it, and these are the closest ones I could find. I really do like the wheels that come on it, but you just can't change the color of them, which killed me. So like I, I either need red or black to finish this off with. And the hood, I'm not tall enough, but the hood, it's got the shovel and the axe on it. So, I, I, I thought that one looked pretty cool, so I went with it, as well as these pipes, because the pipes are, oh, so freaking beautiful. I went ahead and went with, like, an ammo crate. I forgot, I think it's called the Mill Spec or Mill Tech. I don't know. It says it on the box there. So, I'm going with that, because it says it right there. It comes with a shovel, and I don't know, I think that's an axe or something. Yeah, shovel and axe is back, because you never know when you're going to need an extra shovel and axe, all right? Just never know. Anyway, let's get in this thing, see what it can do. I also like every time that like you let off the gas, it like will shoot flames. See, oh, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it. Oh, I just already messed it up. Oh wait, no, I didn't, because I got that bar in the front. That's what I like about it. Yeah. All right, first test. It's an off-road vehicle. Is it off-road capable? Can I go through this water? That's pretty deep water. Yes, I can. All right, I ain't gonna stop having no picnic. I'm trying to get from point A to point B. Let's go. Now let's try to make it through here. I think this and this part right here is a little deeper. I did pick up some speed. It didn't quite go over the top, but that's that's pretty daggum deep. Also, I do want to say it turns remarkably well, especially for a truck. Yeah, it's, it's got some great turning. All right, let's go through here. Let's go to this little island. That was some deep water. Alright, I didn't have much of a start either. Actually, I'll go back through it this way. And just on this little green spot here. I'm a little worried, but I think... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Handled it like a champ. Now, I'm a little worried about it, because like I said, it doesn't stand as tall as uh, like another truck. I forgot what the other, like, the Vapid truck is. But by George, it's not as tall as that, so I'd probably, I'd almost stick to my Vapid for this stuff. But this, this, this truck's pretty daggum quick, alright? And I like it. 
I mean, just look, I mean, I picked up some heck of a lot of speed. Now, I do, I will have to say I did upgrade this all the way. This is, I think, with the four engine and, like, transmission and turbo and, by George, they got everything and it's sister on here, all right? This thing's freaking amazeballs. I can freaking climb, I don't know what with it. But this right here, I guess this is kind of like a water test thing. See if it'll just go through and by George does it ever. I'd say you could almost cross any part of the water as long as you had the speed. I mean, you'd be, you'd be alright. So this is, so this water's pretty deep. And like, I've got the Mesa. Uh, is it is it the Mesa? I got the Jeep, all right, the one with the bars and stuff. Merryweather uses by George. I got that, and it actually uh, it does pretty daggum well. But in some of this water, it just can't do it, and it gets destroyed. And I've got a call, even though it's got a snorkeler on it, and snorkels totally work, but it don't. So. But this truck actually works. That's actually pretty cool. Like I said, it's pretty fast. And it handles really good, actually. A lot of cars and stuff, you get on the dirt, and they just they'll slide around everywhere. But this this thing turns, and it's good, and it's, it's a champ. Okay. I'm going down here, because the water crossing test, I've got one more. Oh, Lord. I didn't see that bump there. i got one more test. I don't know if we'll make it. By George, we're gonna try it. Everyone cross your fingers. We're going for it. This is not where I cross. I cross over here. It's right, yeah, it's right here. I cross. I just lost all my speed. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, it's deep. Oh, but we made it. Actually, I might have crossed there. I don't know. I don't remember. Screw it. Risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna try it. I don't know if I don't know if I. I've crossed here before in other trucks, but to me, yeah, that's just that just seems too far. From here to there, I'm gonna try it over there. I'm gonna cross back. And I'm gonna try it. Actually, you know what? No, risk it for the biscuit. That's what that's what we're doing. Risking it for the biscuit. I like all these bushes though. This this is probably gonna destroy this truck. And it was at this moment Doc knew he fucked up. Oh yeah. Oh that's too deep. Yep. Oh yeah. So this is not a submarine. Alright. Now by George. We're gonna climb Mount Chilladad over there. Alright. We're gonna climb it. I believe this truck's mighty capable. And actually I think I'll go right up through there. Yeah. Climb right up on through there on Mount Chilladad. We're gonna make it. That's pretty vertical but we're gonna make it oh lord i actually didn't think we was gonna make it i thought it was gonna be like a slide oh man we chuck we get lower all righty we're climbing boys boys girls children of all ages we're making it well, granted okay now it's getting steeper this is actually kind of steep this this is pretty steep right here and it's just a getting it okay now i don't know where to go I made it this. I don't think we can go all the way. I don't think we can do that. Boys, girls, children of all ages. This might be it. Holy crap! Is it just? It's just going. Oh, we're, we're sliding. We're sliding. This might be it. All right. All right. Okay. Don't. No. 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 Oh, no. Lower. Okay, we did not plummet to our death, but I am, oh lord, if there's one thing I could say I would like better on this truck, it would probably be the brakes. Even, I'm, I'm pretty sure I upgraded the brakes all the way, and they're still not, like, the greatest. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try this again. Come on. Come on. We, we're going off this time. We're going... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, Betsy. Oh, sweet dear Lord, baby Jesus, Oprah Winfrey. I don't know any car to made it up at, to be honest. All right, yeah, let's try somewhere over here. Get on up the mountain chair a little ways. Mount, Mount Chiller, Dad's a little, little tall. All right, so we got to... Oh, look, I'm already heading to a dangerous area. This, I'm gonna. I'm trying to play it safe here a little bit. See if maybe we can get. Yeah. Okay. That's straight vertical. Actually, I think that's even more negative there. Yeah, boy. Made it over that. Yeah. What I'm talking about. Just fly over those. Put wings on this sucker. By Georgia Peaches. To Hugh Wood. I'll head this way. Is that a trail? I want to try to stay away from trails. All right, I'm gonna go over here and see if I can climb back up it. So this is Mount Chiller, Dad. There's a little flagger doodad and jiggers right there. I'm gonna go down this way. See if it'll go right back up it. And I'm breaking that way. I don't end up flying off the edge somewhere and getting myself killed. Oh lord. That there looks pretty no Woo! Woo, we about done it there. I don't know if we're down far enough. Oh lord, we're, we're definitely gonna be down far enough now. I'm trying to break. Like I said, if there's one thing I could uh, change here, it would probably be the brakes. The brakes are not the best, but I mean, as far as everything else, I think this thing is a pretty solid truck. I know everybody can, will, will probably want to compare this to Dubsta 6x6, and my friend's got one, and so we I might see if he'll make a video with me, and uh, I'll compare this truck to the 6x6. Look at this, just, it just rips up a hill, bro. Like, I mean, it... it by George, this thing says, hold my beer, watch this, and it just rips. I'll be honest, when I first bought it before I upgraded it, I did have it for a little while before I made this video. I drove it around stuff, and I already tried to do a couple things with it. And to be honest, I was I was almost having a little bit of buyer's remorse. But now after it's been upgraded, I, I'm pretty sure this is now my new favorite. Now it's falling, it's getting dark. Let's turn these bright suckers on and try climbing a hill. See here, what approach do I want? Now, I'll, I'll say we'll just keep going on up here. This is pretty steep, and it climbed it. It climbed it like it was nothing. Like I said, this is all four wheel drive. There, what was that rock doing there? And it just, it just goes. It seems, it seems to be pretty good. Now, granted, I think you could pro on this one right here. I think, well, I don't know. Let's get a little bit more rocky. All right, I'm, I'm in a predicament here. This is, I bottomed out a little bit. I'm starting to slide. I might roll. Oh, there we go. We're good now. See, like I said, it just rips. Now, on our, on the other truck, on the Vapid, the regular truck, which is what I'm comparing it to now, because that's what I have. Like I said, my friend, the one with the dubsta. Um, I think a regular truck would have just rolled right there. Regular lifted truck. I'm going up pretty much the hardest part of where I'm at. Oh, I might roll. I'm, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Here we go. Oh. Oh, we're going down. I'm yelling, Timba. I'm throwing this thing down. A freaking mountain. We lost one headlight, boys. We're good. How, wait, did we break the windshield? Oh, we broke the windshield out. We're just going up the same way we come down. Look at it there. Don't roll, don't... I oh, turned the wheel the wrong way. Roll back over. There you go. Grip. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. There we go. You can see, it's just... It just climbs. It's just go. Like I said, this thing... 
this thing just I think this is one of the the best trucks all right now comparing this to just like the regular vapid okay not the dubster yet because I haven't been able to compare it with my friend but this is a pretty daggum good truck all right in my opinion To me, if you don't have a truck yet, I don't know, I, have, I don't have the money to buy all the trucks and compare them all, but I would say that a lot of people compare a lot of the trucks to the Dubsta, and so like I said, I've got a friend who's, who's got one, I'm, I will try to compare them, but this is now my new favorite truck. I hope this video will help you in your decision on whether you want this truck or not. I am definitely happy with my purchase, I don't know if everybody will be. But I really enjoy this truck. I really like it. I like how much you can customize it. This truck just seems really, really cool. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help me out. Also, if you're new here, I encourage you to go watch some of my other videos. And if you like it, please smack that subscribe button. As always, I'm the Doc Wilson, and I will see y'all next time.